quote, women should remain silent in the churches. They are not allowed to speak, unquote. Recently at our church's question and answer Sunday, someone sent me that exact passage, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 34. And the question was, what? <laughs> How are we supposed to understand that? They asked me, women can't speak? Must be silence? There, there's a later passage about asking your husband when you're at home, but what if you're single? What, what is up <laughs> with 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 34 and 35? Good question. Hmm. Especially if you're a woman watching, that is a really good question. If you're a woman who respects the Bible and loves Jesus and wants to follow everything that God says, what, what, is this, what does this mean for you? Well, this is a huge topic when we talk about what men and women share and what's different in the family of God. Actually, if you track down on some of our social media channels, I have a, a whole series, I think it's four total weeks called God and Gender, where I try to break this down in depth because this matters so much. There's a, a lot of controversy, a lot of disagreement, and I just want to give you some really good scriptural, biblical basis. Which makes me question if I should give you just a short answer about this specific passage. Right? Because I, I don't know what you think about men and women, what you know about Genesis 2 or Ephesians 5 or 1 Timothy 2 or 1 Peter 3 or 1 Corinthians 11 or you know, the Old Testament church system or Jesus picking apostles. Like, um, th There's a lot of context here and it's, my answer to this question is going to make sense without that wider biblical context. So if, if you could show me a little bit of grace, I do want to give a direct answer to this question without a, a two-hour video. So what does this mean? Here in context is what I think it means. I think it means that there are some situations in the church that God has reserved for men to speak. So in the context of this chapter, uh, in my Bible, it's called Good Order in Worship. Uh, we're talking about a, a certain situation where a woman would get up and, and speak with authority to the rest of the church. And it's in that context that Paul says, quote, women should remain silent in the churches. They are not allowed to speak, but must be in submission as the law says. Right, so the law, the, the law of God, the scriptures, has this unique relationship. It's not inferiority. It's not a lack of intelligence or gifting. But there, there is this distinction in both the Old and New Testament. That's what the, the series is a little bit about, God and gender, where God calls men, I'm just going to say in this context, to speak with authority in the church. A good proof passage for my understanding of this comes from 1 Timothy chapter 2. Um, where Paul said, I don't permit a woman to teach, that is to speak with authority over a man. So sounds pretty similar to what's happening here. So I don't believe that Paul in this context is saying that once a woman enters a church building, she can't talk or sing or pray or, or share her faith. There are so many examples throughout the Bible where both men and women did that exact thing. But are there certain situations when we're getting up to, to preach with authority? Um, are there situations where God makes a distinction? And I believe the biblical answer is, yeah, yes, there is. This passage is one of the you know, six to ten places in the New Testament that do that exact thing. They make a distinction from a God of love who cares about sons and daughters and God wants us to honor that. I said this wasn't going to be a two-hour video. I, I know there are so many reactions to that. There's, uh, there's skepticism. There's wounds. There, there's people who take this and they're very demeaning and derogatory towards women. I don't know if you've had any of those experiences. There's, well, this is convenient for me, right, as a man, as a pastor, to quote stuff like this. So I, I really hope if uh, this is controversial for you, you can check out that whole sermon series 
I want to go deep so both brothers and sisters in the faith are working together, the church just as God intends, trusting his word, imitating Jesus. Um, This word comes from God and that God is good. And he challenges us sometimes in certain cultures. He really, really challenges us. But let's trust that if God wrote it, um, we don't need to, to reject it. We can accept it as a good word from a good God. Hope that answer helps as you try to understand men and women within the church. And may God bless you as you do. Do you struggle to find time to connect with God? Well, click here to subscribe to our daily email. Well, we'll make sure that you hear about God's promises, his love, and his amazing word.